Seven out of ten black children born to parents that are, that are unmarried, it's not because of the invisible hand of government that's pushing it. That's just become a norm. We don't, we don't shame people, um, specifically in the black community, we don't shame men for having children that they don't take care of. We don't. We shame men for having political views that we don't agree with. But if, if, if a guy like Future or, or whoever else, I mean, rapper or regular guy, has seven kids by six different women, nobody bats, bats an eyelash. So one of the big problems about this particular phenomenon is that the left and its professors and preachers and politicians refuse to talk about the importance of marriage and family. The last person who did it was President Obama. He was consistently criticized by his left flank, including uh, uh, hosts on MSNBC and, and, and college I'm, professors. Thank you. Left side, panelist one, you have two minutes. Glad you brought up President Obama. He's one of the people I was going to mention. Why? Because the single family home has created some of the most iconic people of the 21st century. Your President Obama was one of them. Your, your President Bill Clinton was also another one. What does that mean? That means that you can take of a woman and who has a village and allow her to then build and create an incredible human being. That doesn't mean that every person coming out of a two-parent household is this wonderful, one-track, one-part person. I mean, have you seen the, the, the Bush children? I mean, there's so many examples of children who were raised in two-parent family homes who have gone up inside shoot schools and shot them up. The point I'm making is, is that it's about community and building and making sure that there's someone surrounding that mother and surrounding those parents, whether it's a single father or single mother, so that they can have the resources and tools that they need. It's not individual to one person. If a home is filled with abuse and neglect, you're still going to get a broken person. So to put that on and say, well, yes, clearly there could be some things that we rebuild in the black community and love and family and relationships are one of those. But that's one of the psychological chains of slavery. That's the vestige of slavery. What, what needs to happen is, is that if we build, rebuild the family, rebuild the black person, pay reparations, I'm sure many people can get the therapy that they need to have healthy relationships and healthy homes. But what we've not done is we've not put... America, the freedmen, the people who in 1856 were supposed to receive something from the government to help them engage as um, American citizens and give them the step forward to take them from slavery to citizenship, that has not been paid. And so you have a group of people who have still not been put in position of equality in this country. And until that's done, you're going to have to continue looking at, hey, why is it that their, their community is not catching up to us? They were never repatriated. Thank you. Uh, right side, panelist two, you have one minute. Um, so yes, I think that the black community does actually need strong nuclear families, but not because we're black, but because that's the natural order. Amen. And so I think it would be safe to say that Reese may not be a Christian because when God looked at man, he said it's not good for man to be alone. He gave him a woman. He didn't Amen. give him a village. He didn't give him the community. He said, be fruitful and multiply to this man and this woman. So it's supposed to be God husband, wife, child. And that's the natural order. And that's why I think we can see some of the foolishness that we see in the black community because we are out of order. And we can make up all of this stuff that sounds good. I'm from a single parent home and I'm not somewhere cracked out in the street selling my body. However, that is not ideal. It would have been better for me to be in God's order to have a mother and a father to raise me. And that's just what it is. You know, the effect that it's had, we've had women for generations generations now saying that they don't need a man and we have boys that don't want to be one.